Well, vulture invasion. It's the stuff of nightmares. Birds making themselves right at home in one neighborhood off Appalachie Parkway. These feathered friends are federally protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act, which means residents cannot harm, kill, or remove these birds, their eggs, or their nests. Our Sofia Hernandez spoke to those dealing with these unwelcome guests. She has the story. They come out early in the morning, and they generally, they'll, they'll get into your trash. They will walk the streets. Um, they won't move if you come close to them. Sitting, sunbathing, and thumping on Rachel Favor's roof. I actually thought someone was trying to break in or something because it was so loud. So I went outside and that's when I seen a multitude of vultures on top of my home. But not just on Rachel's home, the birds have been taking over the neighborhood. They were here when I moved in. Um, seems like they have a pretty uh, big flock behind my house. Those like Rachel have reached out to multiple federal, state, and local agencies asking for help to remove them. Those agencies referring her to multiple resources, costly products, and permits. Basically, they told me I can put spikes on my, my roof, or I can spray them with water, or I can put an owl up. And after trying those methods, they still don't seem to leave. We all have to live with them on a regular basis, and no one wants to help. Those in the area think it might have to do with their location, being half a mile away from the Leon County Solid Waste Management. I'm thinking maybe the smell might attract them to this area and maybe because of the size of the trees, um, it gives them the view that they're looking for. And while the birds may be unwelcomed, residents say... At this point, I've kind of accepted it. I think anytime you get further out in rural areas, you kind of have to accept the, the wildlife. You're kind of encroaching on their territory, so I love the neighborhood, but I know that they were here before us. Letting the birds be as they may. Reporting in Tallahassee, Sophia Hernandez, WCTV Eyewitness News. Favor says she reached out to contractors to get a quote on putting spikes on her roof. She has yet to hear back from them. The only other method she has not tried, obtaining a permit through the FWC to be able to trap the vultures. Mother